<sighs> What's up, makers? Today, we're going to replace the screen on an Anycubic Photon Mono. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I've got this mono LCD screen that I purchased from Chi2 Systems. Hopefully it's the right screen, we're gonna find out real soon. And from everything that I've looked at online, replacing the screen on this system is actually a lot easier than I thought. Bruh. First thing we're gonna do is take this off. Now we're gonna turn it down onto its side. And we got four screws that we're gonna take off, one in each corner. I'm gonna set those screws aside and we're gonna pull this off. And I'm just gonna use this for leverage. And don't go ripping this thing off because there is a cable connected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that out carefully and set this whole system aside. There's two ribbon cables that I see. One at the top is for the front screen, which is just the touchpad. And the one down towards the middle is the ribbon cable for the mono screen, which is the screen that actually emits the UV light for the resin to cure. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect that. Now I noticed there's a little white thing that's like glued. And I think that's just to help keep the ribbon out of the way, the ribbon cable out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull that off. Okay, I was super confused at first about which direction I'm supposed to pull out the ribbon cable, but it's basically just straight out, straight out away from where it's at right now. So I'm actually just gonna grab it here from the top and carefully just try to pull away and down a little bit and it just came right off. Sorry for the angle, this is the best I can do. It basically comes straight out, not necessarily up or down, but I had to wiggle it a little bit up and down in order to get it off. Straight out, away from the circuit board. All right, let's flip it back up. First, we have to take off this black tape that's on the border. And from what I can tell, the new screen, I mean, it came with some black tape, but it's not like the same shape or size, so I don't know, I guess you could DIY it if you really needed to or something, if you really screwed up something, but what I'm gonna try to do is really preserve this tape as best I can so that I can use it again after we put the new screen in. I'm just gonna use a little blade here, but you might be better off with a pair of tweezers. Interesting, unfortunately it's a little bit stuck to the ribbon cable. So I'm gonna try to pull it away from the ribbon cable here. There we go. I will gently set this aside. We will now take out the screen from the top. Okay, in retrospect, I should have removed that white thing from the cable because it's getting stuck. A few moments later. There we go. Okay. We've got the screen out. Now we're gonna put in the new screen. But one thing you're gonna want to take note of is which side is the top. Because on at least this screen here, it's got a protector that can be peeled away on both sides. This was the top for this old screen. So we're gonna make sure that it's oriented the same way for the new screen. We're just gonna drop the ribbon cable down into this slot on the top. We'll make sure to take that bottom screen protector off. Drop it in. Top screen protector off. And we'll put the tape back on as best we can. It really tried to curl in on itself. I did a decent job. It wasn't as sticky coming on the second time. And so I definitely see why they include some of this extra stuff because you could just do a little bit of patchwork. Now we just need to reconnect 
this new screen by pulling this ribbon cable over. When you attach it, it should give you a nice little snap when you push it on there and you're just pushing it down onto the circuit board. We'll bring back the bottom, attach the cable first, fit it back in, making sure not to mess with this cable up here. Voila, and we'll just screw it back on. All right, it's a bit of a mess over here, but here it is next to my Inacubic Photon Mono 4K, and I plugged it in. Okay, the device still turns on, and now what we can do is we can go to Tools, Detection, and then I'm gonna turn on the, the full screen mode here, like two seconds. Hit next, and it lights up. Wait a second. What did I just see? Is that a whole section that's not lighting up? <gasps> I just realized. That's the ribbon cable. That's the freaking ribbon cable right there. Oh my, ah oh, crap. Now you see at the beginning of the video why I said to watch the whole video instead of following along. I'm going to just fold it over as best I can, maybe use that white thing from the other cable to kind of glue it down, and then we should be good. Okay, well I've pretty well taken off the white thing off of the other printer and just used it to fold the ribbon cable over onto the circuit board. Let's try that again. Detection, full screen, two seconds. Next. Ah, oh, beautiful. I endured all of that so that you don't have to. So if you can give the video a like, that would be very much appreciated. If there's anything else that I missed, any tips or tricks that would have made this simpler, easier, drop them down in the comments. For more 3D printing content, subscribe and click the bell. Keep calm and print on.